We begin with a primetime news exclusive. An 18-year-old member of the Pathways International Ministries recalls how he was shot and injured as he attempted to leave the church on that fateful night on October 17. Kirk Wright has the details. The young man who was still visibly shaken when we saw him says he remains in shock and disbelief. He did not want to show his face but tells us Pastor Kevin Smith, who is now dead, had him and the other church members under a spell. On the night in question, he says Smith posted on his Facebook page that a tsunami was approaching and that all members should pack up and come to the ark, a reference to the church. The young man said he went to the church because he believed the pastor that the tsunami would kill everyone outside. He says inside, Smith became angry and began acting as if he was tormented. He started a couple of things, they mash them up, mash up, he wind them around funny, mash up, cheer, mash up, everything. Mm -hmm. Mash up glass and all, cut up himself and a ball out in the church. And I say, oh, what is this, man? I wonder if a chance for me, only a chance for me, not God now. I do your things around your mind now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Then you walk and I cuss and I walk and I say, people turn it, turn them back on him and in coming the flesh and we don't realize him and all type of something. That's God. Mm -hmm. We don't realize him. So we did up on the gun and him walk and I, you see me? Mm -hmm. Come on, something he all walk by. Mm -hmm. He walk by him, we on the gun and he walk by him. The young man says, in spite of all that, he still saw Smith as a god and never lost respect for him. He says that this time about nine members were inside while others were outside clamoring to get inside the church. Because some people could come on the property. Because mm. people want to come in now, you know. So they, they ball out say, your, your majesty, your majesty, let us in, let us in, we're going to die. At one point inside the church, the young man recalled that the pastor gave instructions to a church member to kill another, saying he would bring him back to life. The member was stabbed in the back, and immediately after, the young man says Smith followed up by shooting him. The young man says a few minutes later, he saw the member that Smith had just shot back inside the church, begging him for help. So, Mr. Corey, Mr. Corey, I walk and I say, Your Majesty, I'm, I got shot. Can you heal the pain? He recalled another bizarre act by Pastor Smith, which led to the death of a man who had come to the church for healing. He says the man was sick and had some tubes in his chest. So he passed, I looked upon him and said, Yo, do you believe that I am God? And the man said, Yes, I believe. Do you believe that I can resurrect you when you die? And the man said, Yes, so he passed. I said, All right. He pulled out the chest to all the time on him. The man started bleeding out on him. While well, the man start bleed out, the man take off his shirt, take off his pants, and, and Andre, and Nick, our next man, we don't know any. name. Like enough people in there, see me, put him a gun and make him man bleed out. That man, you see, on the gun, he black. Man, black man, he black, slim, and black. He bleed out on the gun, man. And he pass out, say, he must die. And I, re re I call it resurrect. Re 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 resurrect him. Resurrect him again, you understand? Following that, the young man says Smith gave him and another member knives, saying he was going to begin allowing the other members inside and that they should be killed. It was then, he says, Smith called Tanika, the late employee of appliance traders inside the church, and started questioning her. And the pastor said, do you believe that I am God in the flesh? And he said, she said, yes. And then he passed. I said, do you believe that I can resurrect you again when you die? And the girl uh, said, yes, yes, me. And then the pastor said to Andre, saying, go and kill her. Oh, but this girl is not mad, small, you know, they are dead. Run for your life. In you know my mind, no. Because mm -hmm. if I did say it out loud, maybe that said, sense my wife is going to kill me, he said. Mm -hmm. Tell us you are some type of foolish, brother. What did she do hmm? after the pastor said that? Did she put up any resistance or she stood there no. waiting to be killed? She will up around. She will up around and start bawling and say, God, you are God. That's what I tell the man, say, my God, you know. You are God, you are God. We say, I kneel on her knee and the man just go, I run out, just go and cut it. Let me see a man cut the woman short. I say, John, what, really this is going on? Is a woman, the man just kill in front of me. Yeah, well, I do a look at me and say, yo, no, man. This serious. All I tell me, a priest, I go tap him. But if I go tap him, maybe I get shot or, you see me? 
He says that sometime after five in the evening, members of the security forces arrived, but it took some time before they stormed the church. The young man said the policewoman, who is a member of the church, was kneeling beside Smith, who then gave her instructions to take on members of the security forces who were outside. And tell her, say, yo, go on, go worry, police, then me give you power, you can't dead, go on. Say, so, policewoman, get up. Kai, but in give policeman a robe, you know. When a female of them put on you over her. So she feel mighty, you know, like, so she can't dead. Say, so, policeman, walk like a robe to go along. But she no go, you go for your no shot at all. She turn up one side, so you know. Then he says, Smith instructed another member of the church who lived at Smith's house to take up a knife and attack the police and soldiers. The pastor tell him, say, go. No shot can kill you. You cannot die. You are immortal. Go and fight. You say, come on, take up a long old knife, someone like a, you know, a rumble knife. Eh? Mm -hmm. Take up a knife and run out for soldier and police. Was shot for your man, what man? He passed dead man. About 15 shot in get. The young man says he was shot while trying to flee the church compound in fear of his life. He says he ran towards the police in the dark who believed he was trying to attack him and was shot. He's refuting claims that they were all naked when the security forces stormed the church. He did say that the pastor gave an instruction for them to take off their clothing and adorn themselves in white material. He said that did happen, but that they were always wearing their undergarment. Kirk right here in Montego Bay for TVJ News.